Controls are everywhere. Whatever industrial asset you're operating, a control system is governing its behavior. So just what is a control system all about? Well, let's begin with the basics. Call it Controls 101. Let's look at a popular example, a quadcopter. A quadcopter can fly thanks to three functions that are at the heart of nearly every control system. See, think, and do. A quadcopter sees its position in space using multiple sensors that measure its speed and orientation. To stabilize the quadcopter, make it fly, or have it perform acrobatic motions, the controller needs to think fast and process these measurements. The third function is do. In a quadcopter, this means that the controller actively changes the propeller's speeds. Running the propellers faster or slower changes the quadcopter's orientation or moves it through space. So, that's the basics of controls. We use the same idea of see, think, and do to run just about everything that GE makes, like a wind turbine. The many sensors on a turbine measure rotor speed, tower motion, wind speed, and wind direction. The sensors are connected to the I.O. modules, which could be GE's RSTI EPIO, that converts the signals into digital values and sends them to the control computer, the brains of the system. One task of the controller, which could be GE's Mark 6E solution, is ensuring that the wind turbine rotates at a constant speed despite turbulent variations in the wind. To do that, the wind turbine controller uses the measured signals to compute the pitch angles of the blades. Increasing or decreasing the pitch angle causes the blades to capture more or less energy from the wind, so the rotor goes faster or slower. The control system must see, think, and do quickly, in real time, at a pace that must be much faster than the physics of the system. Those physics are formidable and include the fast variations of the wind and the natural frequencies of the blade, tower, and other components. To guarantee a reliable and safe system, the controller must see, think, and do 100 times per second. The power of controls technology is that it fundamentally changes the behavior of the system. Advanced controls have enabled the wind business to design turbines that are competitive with higher power output and lower material cost. The key to this was getting smarter about the complex physics of the turbine and incorporating that understanding into the control's algorithms. As a result, more energy is captured from the wind, while variations of the wind speed cause less loading of the turbine structure. So there's more output, at less cost, all achieved by smarter controls, and billions more dollars of value created for connected industries. Have we reached the limits already? Not even close. We are creating a new era in controls, where instead of a single application running on a controller, we can have dozens of apps all running simultaneously. This could be machine apps, like digital twins, that embed detailed engineering knowledge into predictive models. Other machine apps are real-time optimizers that determine the optimal way to run our assets. These kinds of apps require more horsepower, flexibility, and connectivity than traditional control systems can provide. To enable these advanced capabilities, GE Automation and Controls is incorporating new technologies into its control platforms to create Industrial Internet Control Systems, or IICS. One of the core IICS technologies is virtualization, which frees us from the limited CPU constraints of our current controls platforms and takes full advantage of the multi-core CPUs available today. The IICS integrates Predix technology to connect us to the industrial internet, where we can get real-time market data and predictions. The connectivity also lets us update our controls remotely and even do it on the fly with the machine running. A control system this advanced might seem like a tempting target for hackers, but we've developed multiple layers of cybersecurity, starting down at the hardware layer and up through the cloud. So, there you have it the future of intelligent controls at GE. Having all this power and all these applications, plus access to the entire industrial internet, lets us exploit our GE assets in ways that have never been possible before.